The problem is I want a really big library, and I think for that I will actually need to make it super vertical. Like, I'm gonna have to make this entire thing the library, is my feel. So I can actually completely do that. I'm gonna do that. I don't care about the computer room right now. We'll get to it later, but this entire area is gonna be the library. Hello everybody and welcome back to Academia. My name is Twister. We have our students coming in today again. Hello sirs, what is up? What are you doing? Hello Chris. Hello Wicked. What are you gonna teach today? Are you gonna teach them how to count to 10? I hope so. I hope they actually already know that because it's they're quite old enough that they should actually know that by now. Alright, so let's actually take a look. They're all gonna go to the club, we're gonna hang out and do stuff. That's actually pretty good. If you look at their stats. Your stats are actually quite, quite good. I like that quite a bit. Uh, you can actually see them here. Their knowledge is actually doing great as well. I don't know how the how the years uh, go by, but they do take a final exam at the end of the year. So hopefully they do some stuff. They also have some PE knowledge, even though they have no way to practice PE, but that's okay. All right. So what are we going to be doing today? We, we have this area for our cafeteria. We have this large area. I'm going to actually make this all into like a garden type field thing. Just make it look a little bit nicer. It actually doesn't look that great for the time being. I want to actually make this look a little bit better. It looks a bit... Sh it looks a bit like, you know... It looks not good. It looks not very good. So I'm gonna actually just paint this entire thing with grass over here. To make it a little bit nicer, just put give us some grass, guys. It's gonna look fairly good. Also place some statues here in the middle. If we will, let's place the fountains. We were the fountains. They're over here. Have like a two statues somewhere or a fountain. The fountain doesn't fit in the middle, which actually makes me quite annoyed. But we can put a statue like in the middle-ish area. Then there's no way, no way to get to them. I think I'll just leave it like this. Doesn't really matter. Kind of makes me want to actually demolish this wall and move it one tile so we have a symmetrical little fountain garden. But that's okay. It's no big deal. Hopefully, it doesn't actually matter. I mean, we don't need this many things, right? We could totally ditch some of these things, no problem, right? No one would mind that. I hope. I don't actually know. Good job, being. You are being great. You're doing great. Okay, so, uh, school is fairly clean. They are teaching them quite, quite well. I like it a lot. They will advance to sophomores soon, right? So after freshmen, we get sophomores and juniors and seniors. So we probably want to have a classroom ready for them. Um... That's gonna be my task for the future. But right now, what I want to do is I want to just like get the layout going. So let's go take the, let's go, let's go take, let's, let's build up the walls a bit, right? Over here, and let's go build up the blue walls a little bit more. Over here, I maybe want to use a different type color wall over here because this is not gonna touch anything. Let's just expand the wall, blue wall over here. Let's do this as well. Gonna leave a little bit of room here so they can enter the area, just in case it's needed. This court is gonna get expanded as well. I'm gonna actually make this top wall red. A little bit different. That's gonna cost me actually a lot of money. This is a lot of money for literally no benefit, so that may not be the best idea. Alright, so let's actually... While they do that, they're gonna work on that. Let's uh, work on a few other things, if you will. Uh, grants. We have four grants available. School health. Clinic. Expanding horizons. Library computer lab. School expansion. 50 sophomore students. Okay, do want to do all of these. Let's go for expanding horizons. Because I want to build a library and a computer lab. So I want to make this, this area is going to be like a park type thing. Because I want to give them a little bit of outdoor space, you know. Just It's it's a very fancy school to have to have somewhere to hang out and do stuff. In the outside, we're going to have a club outdoors, most likely. We have a club over here, we have the kitchen and the faculty room over here. We have enough room for six teachers. Even though that's probably way too overkill for now, because we only have two. But it's good to think ahead. So I want to actually do some things over here. We're going to go into this menu. We're going to go build the blue walls in this area. In this outline. Build them over here. And I'm going to build a library. So let's go to zones. We need a library and a computer lab. I'm going to build them over here on this side. Because the computer lab is going to get used by everyone. I'll probably make it in a center area. So library is where? Library is here. 5x5 five five bookshelf and a table. That is perfectly fine. I don't mind that at all. What about computer lab? Computer lab, 7 times 5 chairs and computers times 5. Alright, if you look at the computers, how big are the computers? Computer lab, it's actually a small computer, fairly small. 100 megahertz processor and 20 gigabyte hard drive, oh my, that sounds very impressive. 
Okay, so we want to probably build those over here. I'm going to build a library facing. I'm going to have the library face actually two engines. So let's go to our layout. Get a, a wall outline. So probably want to look at the objects first. Object library. Bookshelf is a two by one item. Table is a two by one as well, but we need chairs as well. And also want to have a little uh, thing in the middle. Man, these breaks don't last for long, huh? They just, they get their food and they have to run away immediately. That's okay. Get into class, guys. You're very much late. I don't like that at all. Also, look at this. Look at this asshole here. We could, like, he his his class started 34, five, six minutes ago, and he's he's like 45 minutes late. Oh my god, what a disaster. Oh my, he, he taught them for like 15 minutes total. Oh um, I can't believe that. That's that's so wicked. You know, he's always late. He's always 45 minutes late. Exactly 45 minutes. I like it's a lot. Red wall. I like this game a lot. I know I mentioned that, but I do think bears repeating. Okay, so we want to have... This is going to be the library over here. Probably want to have a bunch of like lines and whatnot. So, want to have two doors. Want to have a little, like... Want to have a desk, like this type of desk. Also a computer. So, want to have a little, little kind of area for our... Peeps over here. How can we make that look good? So I'm gonna have like a desk here and a desk here, maybe. We could have another desk over here. Uh, actually, where do the desks go? If we go to faculty office table, that would actually be perfect. We have a chair here. Not not perfect. It might actually be better if we did it. Do it over here then. It won't be easy to, easy to enter the thing. Do it like here. Because they would, they would, these guys would merge. Have it like one over here. Then you can't actually sit there properly. That's the problem. You can sit here, but yeah, that doesn't actually work at all. So when I like thing, thing, and thing over here, and then we're gonna have some file cabinets in the corner. I was gonna be for you. I'm gonna actually place those immediately. I know I don't need those, but I'm gonna. I like having a big library in the school. I think it fits. We like this. Also got a bunch of chairs, so everyone's gonna have a chair of their own. Again, not the comfiest place to live. It's gonna be okay. Have some file cabinets in the back. I could do it differently. Maybe I should do it differently, but I think it's gonna be okay for now. Uh, we could also add extra chairs here as well. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're gonna have those. And I want to have a bunch of like uh, a big learning area in the middle here and then some bookshelves. So the bookshelves are gonna Don't tell me you can't make me. Oh, no, I can't make him place face north Why? Why have you forsaken me? All right, so I guess I'm gonna have him play be facing uh, up and down top and bottom, huh? I have like a thing here. Let's actually go to layout. We're gonna have It doesn't matter. We have a wall. Let's say we have it here. I have like a Bookshelf here, then here and here. I want to do it like twice or three times. I actually want to have uh, another open wall here. It's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna just erase this entire thing because it doesn't have to be touched the end. It's gonna have to like have a uh, different passages and whatnot. Okay, but you also want to have a little learning area. So wanna definitely go. It's gonna be our learning area over here somewhere. We're gonna be entering over here or over here, depending on what you choose. I can't actually place this over here, which is kind of frustrating, but oh well. This doesn't actually matter. There's gonna be there. So I actually wanna keep this area clear. So this area needs to be clear. But then we can actually start getting some desks in. Can we get the desks rotated? We can, awesome. That's good to know. So we want to actually have this whole area cleared out. So this is going to be like all clear. Like that. I want to have some pillars actually. Like some concrete pillars. Just being in the thing. It's actually going to be a lot easier if I just go. Let's go to build. Let's go make some concrete tiles. Make it a bit easier. And let's go get some objects. Uh, actually go to build. Get some doors over here. Here and like here. There we go. That's not really accessible right now. It's gonna be. We'll add some doors like over here for now. I'm gonna remove these later. It's just for easier access for the time being. Okay, everyone's leaving. That's okay. Again, I spent too, way too much time planning. I know that. 
Run the library to look good, though. I actually don't like this little corner type thing here. Um, I kind of want to just cancel this. Cancel these as well. I cancel the concrete. I don't want to do that. Because I want to I make it a little bit more wild, you know. I want to have like two desks here. And then office. Here and then like a desk here. Yeah, I think I like this better actually. I think I like this a bit better. Of course, give me the concrete again. The concrete that I removed by accident. Be it, right? You're gonna build this, it's gonna look all great and nice. I can actually just fill this entire thing with concrete. It's gonna cost me a lot of money. We have the money though, so might as well do it, you know? Because everything's gonna have to be concrete sooner or later anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright. A little bit of a lag spike there. I don't know what's up with that, but I don't like it. There we go. They're doing their job properly. How are our students doing? They're actually doing really great. PE is kind of low, but that's okay. They need to pee a lot, but we have enough toilets, so that shouldn't be a problem. They no longer pee in the bushes, which makes me happy. And they're actually just acting like normal human beings, which is... Just fine. Let's give some, give some chairs over here. Like, might as well add some extra chairs for that, though. And I kind of want to, like, concrete walls are really expensive. I don't know why these walls are so expensive, but I kind of just... I'm guessing it's kind of, I'm going to bug. I'm going to build a concrete wall here just to see what's what it's like. Because I want to have, like, a thing here. This is going to be, like, our pillars that hold up our class, you know? I want to have, like, a thing here. I have the entrance. Like, one block from here. Like this, right? That looks okay. Let me actually pause the game for a second. I want to place these, just to see what they would like. So we'd have, like, pillars here. This is a big room. And a lot of supporting pillars. That's probably way too overkill, honestly. Like, this many pillars seems like a bit too many, right? So we can just cancel them right now. Because I don't... I feel like this is way too thick. But they don't want to have one here. So let's go... Let's go with, like, five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Like this. Three, four, five. This makes it a little bit too big. What if we went for four in-betweeners? Three, four. Four, like this. This will be the north edge of our library. I don't actually need that, you know? And we just have like two pillars over here-ish. The problem is I don't really know how big I want this to be. Okay, so this north area is definitely gonna be like the learning area, right? Where you take your books and go study if needed. Like this, so we're gonna have raise this outline, have the wall outline over here. That's gonna be our wall, our north wall of our library. If I'm gonna go over here, I probably wanna leave a bit of room here for people to like walk around. Um, if I wanna, don't make it too thick, you know. Again, this the problem is, like, oh no, this is wrong. Um. Problem is I can't place it like I need to be placed like this. Because I wanna have this all be easily walkable. I get the money back, so there's no no harm in uh, just placing these. The problem is I want a really big library, and I think for that I will actually need to make it super vertical. Like I'm gonna have to make this entire thing the library. Is my feel. So I can actually completely do that. I'm gonna do that. I don't care about the computer room right now. We'll get to it later, but this entire area is gonna be the library. So we're gonna go to objects. I'm gonna place a few more tables over here. 
that actually fits almost perfectly. It actually fits perfectly, because if you if don't place another one over here. There's a bunch of these, we could have another, like, entrance over here. I go for a door. Like that, over there. You can enter. Actually, I want to have the door in the same location over here. Probably. This, and we can actually go just objects, just have some extra tables over here. It doesn't matter, we have a lot of stud room, that's actually perfectly fine. Let's just move all of these things as well. It's gonna be our entire library, north to south. Then we want to have probably a little bit of room over here. Have some of these things facing up and down. And have like these things. The problem is they don't look attached, you know? Kind of work. This actually seems very, very nice. A very big library. Really big. I want to have like enough room for them to interact with everything in between this thing. These things are actually really expensive, so we're not gonna build them all. I just built some of them. I'm gonna add la more later on. I guess we could build like every other one for now. Just leave some room between, right? I have like one, two, and one, two. This, and then have another one over here. Then we can actually just leave it like that. Also, I could just add. Another one over here, but I don't think that's really necessary. I think this is gonna be, look fairly good. I think this is gonna be good. And we can actually have another one just over on the corner here. Problem is, can I actually make this in overlap? It's gonna look good, I think, if we just have it like this. We go all the way down here. That's gonna be the edge. Alright, let's go build the wall as well. Just uh stop. on sub time. A blue wall over here, so it's gonna go all the way here. I don't think I made a mistake. I hope I didn't make any mistakes. I'm gonna go finish this off. Oh, I just realized I placed the door poorly. Um, hold on, hold on, stop. Please, please draw wrong. Because the door is supposed to be on this thing, so I probably want to move everything one block to the side. Oh no, I knew this would happen. Just all of these manually, really? Oh, no. Okay. There we go. So, blue, doll, blue, blue wall goes here, right? Yeah, just like that. I'm gonna have to move all of the... Oh, God. Use, like, a, a, like a big dismantle tool. No, just cancelling is just a click. Huh? Alright. I, I can do that. Alright. You know what? I think this is gonna be good. Let me just make the north face of this. You can start from expanding from there. So I want to have a thing, actually, thing over here. Did we have it? Oh, no, we have it the other way. We had it the other way, right? I have a thing here. Here and here and here and here and here and here. Yeah, just like that. All right. Because the door is in the wrong location. Build the door over here. All right. I like this library a lot. It's totally not finished, but it's it's okay. Let's add just a few chairs. We're gonna have a bunch of tables. Just a few chairs. Just the chairs facing north in some of them. Cause we don't have enough money to buy all the chairs, guys. Because of those goddamn garden cuts. I think we should be able to go all the way to the library. So the library is gonna be pretty darn massive. I like it a lot. I like having a big library in a school. It also allows us to have another like quarter over here and have another door. So library. But then everyone's gonna walk through the library and go north and south, and I don't really want that. Yeah, let's just go over here and make the library... Mungus as a library. There we go. Excuse me? Why didn't it... Don't tell me it's too big. What? Oh, because it has a thing in the middle. Really? Concrete block. Get the tile back over here and over here. And over here. I think that's all that I missed. Just make sure to go to zones. And a library over here. There you go. It's a really big library. But it is operational now. Thank you so much. Alright, our students are looking pretty okay. Their fun is really low. They're really hungry as well. Uh, I mean, you gotta go back home, I guess. 
We have enough cooks, right? And maybe maybe we don't have enough cooks. Hard four more cooks. Maybe that was the problem. I'm gonna go eat now. There we go. Didn't have time to eat. That's the problem. Yeah, didn't didn't even eat at all. I just like, came in there and then I have to go immediately. All right, it's fine. I'm gonna go. They're gonna leave now. Farewell, forever. All right, so let's go to, into our uh, building tool. We need a concrete floor here and here and here. And also this another thing gonna have to be a concrete floor. So is this thing that immediately and do the same thing over here. We're gonna make it into concrete anyways very soon. And now we're kind of low on money, which is a slight issue. We are actually making almost no money. I see. Um, what do we need for a computer lab? Computer lab, need a science and five, five chairs and five computers. Okay, so that's gonna be a problem. We could have a computer lab in the library, I guess, right? Maybe. Problem is we're not making any money right now. Like no money from subsidies at all. Because our library is way too big. I'm building too big. Building massive buildings for no reason. So we don't need them right now. 18 bucks per day. All right, so I think the best thing that we could do is we could get another extra classroom. Can we even do that? I hope so. We'll, we'll give it a go. Let's see if we can have... How big is this? This is like 10 times 12. There's another classroom over here at the edge. I think that might be a good call. I don't even get more freshmen today. I think having like three classrooms would be good over here. So have it... This we said ten, right? Just ten total blocks, and then like this. Okay, do we have enough money to finish this? We should have, right? We need a floor as well. Eight hundred bucks. Very expensive. Uh, zones classroom class. No, that's club class. Go over here. All right, so let's just get the things we need. We won't be able to afford a teacher, which is a slight problem. But we don't need a teacher, right? No to transfers. So we're gonna get. We have 48 students. We need to take 24 more. Easy. You give me all the same amount, right? Get 24 more freshmen. We're here in three days, huh? That's a problem. Um, funds are running low. Yeah, I know they're running low. Can I take out a loan? Passing rate is F. Let's see. I cannot take out a loan, huh? Until the cash flow is 18 bucks per I mean, we're getting some... I guess we could just go staff and just... Uh, like, we have too many workers right now, yeah. We have a few workers fired. I don't care about them. And we have too many cooks as well. Okay, and we have to manage enters as well. Again, I probably hired way too many of them, but we want to improve our cash flow. But on now, there we go. Nurses and zero nurses. All right. So we're gonna finish our thing soon. Library has been built. Computer lab is needed. Building another freshman classroom. That's okay. In the computer lab as well. That's gonna be a tr the tricky part here. Um, zones. A computer lab here. Not to be too big. One built here in the back. We could have like two separate, like have a separate like little leap park inside. 12 times 8, if this is also 12 times 8, it's way too small for a little park, huh? Yeah, this looks like a good uh, size for a computer lab, uh, maybe even too big. Move zone. I just want to make a computer lab, it's going to be at least this big, like 7 times 5. Go, go really tiny to begin with, honestly. Chair, computer, and indoors. Computer lab. Chairs, computers are actually really expensive. Okay, that's the problem. We need 3,000 bucks just for the PCs here. We don't have 3,000 bucks just for the PCs. 
So there's no reason to actually build this until we have 3,000 bucks, right? So we just have to wait it out, I guess. Uh, freshman classroom is missing a thing here because they can't actually reach it, it seems. It's all really busy, it seems. Um, build a door here. It's 50 bucks for a door. Very expensive door. And finish this. Five times five. Chalkboard, student chair, table chair. Can we get those things as well? 150. See, I don't, I don't want to like spend too much right now because we are dangerously close to being bankrupt because I spent way too much money on unimportant things. And these are like 15 bucks each. We don't have enough money to get enough of them. Just finish everything we can. The blue wall here. The concrete tile here. Why not? Is this older than construction? It is, alright. Um, but they're running low. Yeah, I know they're running low. We'll be fine. We'll get 500 bucks tomorrow. No need to, no need to worry about it. We'll be okay. I can make the classroom easily, I think. Uh, library, they're actually studying in there. Awesome. No, you're, no, you're just resting. No reason. Okay. <laughs> I don't mind. Move the outlines. Let's just move all the outlines that we have here. Because none of them are really useful anymore. I probably have some leftovers from before. There we go. Alright, awesome. Again, that run the into loan funds, but once we get more students, we will get a lot more money. Because again, we have a, such a massive school, not enough students. That's our biggest problem right now. We just need more, more students. I think, like, I've been reading the, the reviews and impressions, and I think a mistake people often make is they make like tiny classrooms for, I don't know, 10 students, which is way too small. I think like 24, I would, this would be the minimum for me, honestly, like 24 students, that's what it feels like a fairly tiny classroom. But I, I'm, who am I to, who am I to say? Let me see, I don't know stuff over here. We'll get enough money, I think, to get enough student chairs. No problem. Also need to hire a teacher, right? I'm gonna hire like a cheapo teacher. How much are they? They're actually uh, quite expensive, all of them. Like a few thousand bucks. Okay, that's a serious problem. That I didn't consider at all. But more... Students, they don't really need a teacher. We just need them to be here, you know? So, like, it, I'm gonna take... Let's take 48 students in total, right? They're gonna be here in two days. Might as well get them right now. Because we'll, we'll build the classrooms for them. No problem. We just need their money... The, the money they give us is gonna go directly to the teachers. That's the goal, you know. All right, let's actually get more of these student chairs over here. Student chairs over here. Have them like this, like really close to the desk. Make sure we have enough money to get them all placed down. There we go. And get another concrete tile here. So I mean, I, I want to clear on notifications, but I know I'm low on money. I'm doing it on purpose. All right. I could... Uh, the computer lab is gonna be really good once we finish it. 5,000 bucks completion bonus. Should probably focus on that, honestly. But we need uh, just the money for the computer things. What if we dismantle a bookshelf? How, do, how much does a bookshelf cost? 100 bucks. What is a really expensive item that we don't really need? Like office tables, really expensive. We have a lot of them here. We get some money from them, but again, nothing is six hundred bucks worth, right? Janitors. What about kitchen sinks? Uh, what about cafeteria? What about janitor's room? Kitchen sink is three hundred bucks. So we could totally like ditch some of these things. I feel like we have way too many, anyways. Let's see if we get the cash for it. I don't really know. This period. Okay, these guys are just hanging around. I guess we could fire some more workers. Because, again, our builders right now, they cost like 200 to fire. That's the problem I made, right? I made hired a bunch of cooks and a bunch of janitors. And it cost way too much money. To actually get them on board. Same thing with the grass. Tell 
That's right. So these guys are gonna be in here in two days. You're gonna give me a lot of money. Total subsidy is gonna be okay. We're gonna get 7,200 just for getting them in, and 4,800 per day extra just for having them here. So we're gonna invest that money immediately into the computer lab, and then into a uh, into another classroom. We're gonna have four classrooms in total. I'm probably gonna have like four classrooms for each year. So 16 classrooms in total. Gonna try to spread them out a little bit. In this cool look mess because we have a lot of room remaining you know no need to worry right now to be perfectly honest okay it's gonna be day the last is it, is it 12 days per year per quarter that might be the case i don't actually know but everyone has left here's my cash flow 600 bucks again not quite enough to do anything useful but it's enough for us to wait. So I think we just have to wait it out until these guys arrive. Just wait a day until our new students arrive. Then we're going to be sitting pretty. We're going to have enough money to hire a teacher to get our computer lab finished and to get another classroom built. It's going to be a bit sad because they won't actually be able to hang out in the classroom. But that's okay. So I'm going to build the classroom. I'm going to build a few extra clubs because this club right now is it is the exclusive club. There's not a lot of room here. I'm going to make like a massive room with a lot of like students seats and whatnot it's gonna be the plan for us but yeah i'm gonna actually just end this uh, video here thank you all very much for watching my name has been twisted from honey Bunny games now we'll see you next time